welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Valerie, in case anybody is new. We have a fun day planned today, so it's a little bit full, but what we're gonna be doing is, currently it's almost 8.30, I'm gonna head out at 8.30 here. We're gonna run over to the thrift store because I've got some stuff that I'm looking for, and then from there I have a chiropractor appointment, so we're gonna do that. And then after that I need to go over to my dad's store and get some groceries. Then there's a chance I might go out for lunch with my mom and the boys, I'm not quite sure. But then after that, I have some other fun things that I wanna try here at home, um, see if I have time to get those done. But it's just gonna be a day in the life and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So I need to hurry up and pack the diaper bag yet. So let's get going. It's more just like a reminder of something you probably already know. But if you're trying to get out the door on time with little children, always, always, always start packing up and heading out the door before you think you need to. So I need to leave at 8.30, so I started packing up at like 8.25, just loading the kids up and taking things out to the van because usually in that process I realize, oh, this has to be packed yet. And rather than waiting till 8.30 when I need to leave to pack up because then I end up leaving five minutes late. So I could have today even started a little earlier because I left and I got down the road and then I realized I forgot my wallet. So I had to go back and get it. So it did cost me like several minutes. So I did get left later. But that's just a little reminder. Again with the bad angle and bad lighting, I thought I would show you what I got at the thrift store. I got three things. I was looking particularly for some lamps for Teo's room and for our room, and I found a couple lampshades, but they wouldn't let me buy the lampshades separately, which is kind of, I didn't want to be that person. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, anyway, so I got these things all for Teo's room, except for one thing. I got this cute little, wall hook thing. I just am and any more more into this kind of hooks rather than the accordion rack because the accordion racks just look kind of busy and they don't hold up very well. You can't put a lot of weight on them. So I wanted something a little bit more sturdy. Then I got this. This is beautiful. It's just this uh, light wood Montessori type of rainbow and it actually has cord on the back that you could hang it But I think I'm just gonna prop it up on his chest of drawers. So I picked that up This was only two dollars and it is so cute solid wood. I got this shirt It's a nursing friendly shirt and no, I'm not pregnant, but I saw it and it's the softest prettiest color um, And I was like my future self will thank me if I ever am pregnant again This is gonna be so nice to have so I picked that up this was 250 Anyway, I should go into my appointment because Teo really wants out of the van. <laughs> all right, we made it back home. About 45 minutes ago, probably, I put all of my groceries away. And I have just spent quite the time fighting my boys, trying to get them to go down for naps. I don't know what's up with Teo lately, but this is the third day now that he's been fighting naps. And I can tell he still needs naps. I don't know, he might be getting close to the, an age where he doesn't need them, I don't know, but I can tell he still does. But he has just been fighting it so much lately. So what I've been doing is just giving him a book, letting him lay in his bed and read a book, and then he usually will fall asleep, but yeah, he's just been struggling lately. And then Ravi, he did not get a nap really this morning, so I'm guessing he's a little bit overtired, so he hasn't been going down the easiest for me either. So it's interesting. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys, so I ended up going to 
a couple more thrift stores afterwards. I went out to lunch with my mom and then I stopped at another one on the way home. So I, oh guys, I hit the dress jackpot. I, okay, granted, I did not try any of them on yet. I'm gonna do a try on and we're gonna see if they fit, but I got like four, one, two, three, four dresses, gorgeous. Oh, I'm just praying they fit because they are so cute. Anyway, I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet because uh, like I said, the boys are in bed, but I'm gonna show you what I got here and then we'll move on to the clothes. I picked up this frame. I'm gonna take this print out, but I like the mat around it and then the gold frame. I wanna hang some up in our room, some of our wedding pictures. Then I got this size three t-shirt for Mateo. He's gonna grow into it, but I thought it was really cute with the collar and just the cable knit. You guys already saw this and this. So I picked up these adorable little iced coffee glasses. They were 70 cents, but I just thought they were so cute with the little straw in the lid, kind of a square mason jar thing. So I got two of those. And then I picked up this little bag of adorable wooden dollhouse furniture. I actually have a dollhouse that my uncle made for me when I was little and so I thought oh it'd be so fun if I would ever have a girl even if I wouldn't I think it'd be so fun to like redo the inside of the dollhouse. Got some wooden furniture so that's super cute and Tail will love playing with this as well. And then I got this big lamp here. I need a shade for it yet but I'm redoing some things in Mateo's room. I'm gonna put a lamp in his room because his is broken so I'm gonna paint this one because you know, I just really hate that design on there. But this was $9.95 and it was actually half off because it has an orange sticker. So I thought that was very pretty. I love the shape of it. And then once it's painted and maybe have like a flared shade or some sort, yeah, I think it's gonna look really pretty. So the first dress we have here is this little black one. It's buttoned down and it really could use an undershirt. I didn't realize that until I tried it on here. So that's a little bit of a bummer because in the f I was like, oh, this would be so cute now, but I could also use it, you know, postpartum if I ever have another baby. I'm not pregnant. I know there's a lot of those references in this video today, but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but it has pockets, which I honestly am not a huge fan of, but I paired it with my little skirt extender here. And I think it looks really cute and just really simple, but it will probably need an undershirt. So I would give this one probably an eight out of 10, just cause I don't love pockets and of it needing an undershirt. So next we have this dress and guys, I can't decide if I like it or not. It fits kind of nice, but I don't love the gathers down here so much. I mean, it fits, but I feel like it looks a little bit conservative for my taste maybe. There's something about it that I just don't love. Maybe it's the length. Maybe if it was a shorter dress, like maybe up to there, I feel like I could like it more. Maybe I just need to hem it. I might try that. I mean, it, it fits, but I don't just love the way it fits. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, for like two bucks, I'll take it and I'll hem it and see if I like it. But this one probably is gonna get a six out of 10. Guys. I am absolutely so in love with this dress. You, oh my word, this is a Orange Creek dress. There were so many good dresses today in the thrift store. I just, I can't get over it, but it fits so perfect. It, it has a little keyhole in the back, very modest neckline. It's just so cute. And then a beautiful ditzy floral pattern. Gasped when I saw this one. I'm really praying the next dress fits me too because it was another one that I gasped at when I saw it. Gasped. I can't even say that word right. But yeah, this one is 10 out of 10. Okay, here is the last dress. This one, I kid you not, is literally in my Amazon cart. I think it's from Amazon, but guys, I'm so sad because I just, it feels tight up top. It looks a little bit tight. I never wear smocked stuff and when I do, I really size up so that the top isn't so, you know, form fitting. So I can't imagine that I will keep this one, but it makes me so, 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 so sad because, oh my word, the gingham, everything else fits so nice. And I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit, it's a little tight but it sure is pretty. I mean, I'm gonna give it this dress a 10 out of 10 because it's such a pretty dress, but mm, eight and a half out of 10 because it doesn't fit. <laughs> at least the Orange Creek one fit. I'm glad at least one of my favorites fit. Here's a thrift tip for you guys. Honestly, January, but mostly February is probably the best time of year to thrift because everyone is purging their closets. Everyone is purging their stuff because it's like a new year, new me type of thinking. 
and you can usually find some pretty good stuff so oh i'm just i was so happy with my finds today but um my favorite thrift store is the home and hope thrift store it's really close to my house and so it's really easy for me to i donate to them usually and that's where i find the majority of my stuff they have amazing things i did something very exciting the other day and i bought paint samples for the cabinets in the camper um so the samples that i have are natural linen this is by sherwin williams then i also have another sherwin williams here this one is canvas tan and then i have this one it's in the valspar brand but she color matched it to benjamin moore's uh revere pewter so this is revere pewter in the valspar brand um i when when Ravi falls asleep i would love to go out there and paint these samples on the cabinets and we'll take you with Honestly, just looking at them here, they look so similar, but this one is the Revere Pewter, and I thought I would like it the best, but just looking at this little dot, um, it looks a little bit too gray. I really like these. I wanted something a little bit more, I don't know, beigey taupe, so, but we'll see. Maybe I'll end up really liking this one. It's always so hard to tell from this. You just really have to see it in the space, and then lighting makes the biggest difference. Okay, so here we have the paint samples. And I feel like the one over here is Revere Pewter. This one is this one is canvas tan. This one is the natural linen, but you can literally not tell a difference. You can tell a slight difference between those two. This does have more of a taupish gray to it. And then down here this is also the natural linen, but I don't know. It's hard to tell on camera too, but like just looking at it, I feel like I'm going to go with that one because I want it to look more contrasting against white walls. So I'm going to paint the walls white, but there's also going to be a white backsplash. So if I have white backsplash and I want to get like wooden contact paper to go over this maybe, I'm not sure if that'll really work or not just because of how small the countertop is, but I would love to add in some sort of wood element to it, but... Yeah, I feel like it's going to be hard to choose. <laughs> I really, really wanted to do some more stuff in the camper, but I wanted to like take off the valances and the blinds and curtains and stuff and maybe even start taping some stuff off, but I don't have the right screwdriver head to take off the valances. And if we do have it, I don't know where it's at. So I want to ask Chip about that, see if we have it, but I'm going to wait on that for now. And I'm going to start painting the lamp for Miss Hayo's room. I found some black paint out in the garage. So I'm going to do the good old baking soda trick, put in a bunch of baking soda and just start painting it. the finished product it's starting to dry a little bit I think it turned out really nice but I do wish that this paint was more of a matte finish if I remember right it's a little bit more shiny which is kind of a bummer but I'm sure it'll get a little bit more matte looking once it dries um, but just imagine this with like a pretty lampshade yet and then it's gonna go in Teo's room up on his big chest of drawers so uh, I'm so excited to kind of redo his stuff from make it a little bit more of a toddler room instead of a baby room Okay, as you can see, I am back out in the camper. Chip found the right little screwdriver head for me and he took off those valances. There were only two, so it didn't take too long. But I got everything taped off to paint the cabinets, as you can see. So that feels like a good step. It's gonna make so that painting won't be so tedious. I, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of painting, but I thought I would show you these samples since they've dried. I was really leaning towards that one, but now it has dried so gray. 
So I'm honestly not sure if I like it as good. I might actually, I kind of like this one yet, but I need to just see. I also painted a couple down here. This is the Revere Pewter over here. And then I honestly think I might go with something like this. A little bit lighter, not quite as gray. I don't want anything to be too cold. So kind of guessing we'll go with one of those. All right, guys. Hello. <laughs> uh, it is now evening. Chip is actually out for supper with some friends. I took a shower, changed, and washed my hair, washed my hair and stuff like that. So the day has totally gotten away from me, but it is what it is. There were some other things that I was hoping to get done today, and I just did not. So, and I'm currently freaking out a little bit because I wanted to print some of our wedding pictures for our room, to frame in our room, and I'm freaking out because I cannot find the flash drive for all of our wedding photos. And I've searched everywhere I can think of, and I've searched all over my laptop, but obviously I put them on a flash drive because I needed to save space on my laptop, but I thought maybe they'd be on there somewhere. Not on there. I can't find the flash drive, and I'm just kind of scared that we don't have our wedding pictures somehow. I, I just have no idea where to look. Anyway, so that's my situation right now, but I decided I'm gonna just close out the vlog right now. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm excited to take you guys on more of the camper process, the camper remodel process but i know like once it's completely done i'm gonna do a whole video on just that so i don't know how much i'm gonna add into vlogs and things like that because i kind of want it to be a surprise at the end so you will definitely get to see the process um and i'll show you tidbits here and there but i'm not gonna film everything um in vlogs and stuff because yeah just be looking out for that video it'll be months down the road it's gonna take me a while <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel you know that i would love that and share with your friends if you'd like anyway i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye